In today's video, I am so excited to share with all of you a healthy grocery haul from Whole Foods. So I've done a lot of grocery hauls here on my channel from places like Costco and Trader Joe's, but I've actually never done one from Whole Foods. So today I'm really excited to share with you some of my favorite items that we purchased. And then I'm gonna take you along and we are gonna be cooking in my kitchen and throwing together a recipe. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Jessica and here on my channel, we focus on all things mom life, but everything that I share does have a bit of a healthy twist as I am a holistic nutritionist. So if you like all things mom life, whether that's cooking, cleaning, organizing recipes, and ways to get your kids to eat more veggies, then you found the right place. And I would love for you to consider joining our family. And you can do that by hitting the big red subscribe button right down here. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the haul. All right, let's get started with the produce. And actually for this trip, I didn't have to pick up a ton of items because I had gone grocery shopping probably like five days prior to this and I had picked up things like cucumbers and peppers and zucchini. But we did need some celery for a recipe. I was making a soup and I actually needed some of these sweet potatoes and yams as well. I needed them for both waffles and a chickpea chicken soup that I was making that included sweet potatoes, which is so yummy. Then here, if you're familiar with my Instagram, and you follow me on there, you know we love the Canyon Bakehouse, everything bagel and their seven grain bread. And I especially love these because if you take a look at the ingredients, they use the highest quality oil. They use extra virgin olive oil in this bread and it's the only brand out there that I have found that uses this high quality of an oil. Additionally, I picked up a case of one of my absolute favorite strawberry Waterloos with two yellow onions and then some grass-fed hot dogs. The kids love these. It's really easy to throw on the side of a dinner that I'm making that needs a little extra protein. Then lately, I've been buying these Amy's burritos. They're great for me to throw in the oven for either myself or for Kaya with like a salad for lunch. And again, I love this because the expeller pressed oils in here, and this one uses saffron or sunflower oil, but the oils are really, which can really make or break your food. And the fact that these use such high quality oils, it is a great thing to have in the freezer if you're gonna toss it together with the salad for a quick lunch. Additionally, I picked up some of our absolute favorite Vital Farms eggs. We love these, they're my favorite pasteurized eggs that you can get. It. And then Kaya grabbed two of these slaws at the deli because we were going to be running around going to a couple events. So it was a quick and easy thing to have alongside of our lunch. And then we did get some of this Organic Valley string cheese with back to school and lunch boxes. This is just something that's easy for me to throw into Ronan's lunch box. I don't really love the concept of him having a lot of dairy. However, he does only go to school three days and it's not something I send with him every day. Then Kaya grabbed some of these Korean barbecue meatballs that we were gonna be cooking up and putting into a soup along with this 100% grass-fed boneless chuck roast that we are also going to be making into a soup later on in the week. Another thing that I do love to grab that I think kind of gets a bad rap is some lunch meats. So there are some good lunch meats that you can get out there, especially Applegate Farms, Plainview Farms. There are some really high quality ones out there that are nitrate free, that don't have the preservatives in them, that only have minimal ingredients. I also chop this up and put it into eggs in the morning for breakfast for the kids. Overall, I just think that lunch meat can get a bad rap. If you watch my refrigerator organization, you know I love to grab this baby kale speaking of chopping it up and throwing it into eggs I do this almost every day with our kale in addition I throw into all of our smoothies and soups so easy to have on hand and then I saw these made good chocolate crispy squares is something is a special treat to throw into Ronan's lunchbox something to have as a special treat for Ronan in the house additionally we love these crackers these are two amazing and delicious flavors if you've never given them a try these ones are so good then this black cherry waterloo is probably Probably one of my favorite things ever. It tastes so good. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. Then we did pick up a bottle of our absolute favorite cough and chest congestion. This stuff is amazing. I've told so many of you about this. Some of my best girlfriends whose children refuse to take any medicine even love this stuff. It tastes amazing and it works like a charm. So I highly encourage you to have this in the house. Another thing I wanted to grab was this throat coat tea. This stuff is 
is so incredible. So it has slippery elm in it, which a fun fact is actually the first herb that I ever gave either one of my children. So I started my children on slippery elm right when they started on solid foods. And so I love this herb. It's absolutely one of my favorite herbs and I love this tea. Then I did pick up a couple cans of their organic coconut. I was making some organic coconut yogurt and this stuff is so good and makes your coconut yogurt so thick and creamy. Now that we've completed the haul, let's go ahead and jump into baking some power blueberry breakfast muffins that I promise you and your entire family will devour. So I will be sure to list the full recipe for you guys in the description box down below, but essentially you're gonna start with two cups of gluten-free flour. I've gone ahead and used one and a half cups of cassava flour and half a cup of buckwheat flour because that's the consistency I like. However, two cups of any flour are gluten-free or to be honest with you, whole wheat would work perfectly in this. And then you are gonna use one cup of plain oats, quick or regular will work again. And you're gonna toss that in and mix together your dry ingredients with baking powder and baking soda and a little bit of coarse sea salt. Once combined, our dry ingredients will go ahead and preheat our oven to 350 and get our wet ingredients going. So here I'm using two large pasteurized eggs. I'm gonna whisk those together lightly before I go ahead and add in one and a half cups of yogurt. I've chosen to use one full cup of coconut yogurt and half a cup of Greek yogurt. But to be honest with you, I've made this recipe and I've used all Greek yogurt, all coconut yogurt. I did decide to mix it up a little bit today and use this combination, but either of them will work. Then I'm adding 100% pure vanilla extract. Then I've got ahead and added in three tablespoons of melted coconut oil and one tablespoon of melted grass-fed butter. Now let's go ahead and start sweetening things up. I'm going to be using date syrup and honey as my sweeteners. So as far as the amount that I'm using, I did one tablespoon of honey and two tablespoons of date syrup. Now these aren't the sweetest muffins out there. So if you think that your kids would need something with a bit more sweetener, you can go ahead and double this. In your dry ingredients, you could add monk fruit sweetener, coconut sugar, all of those things would be delicious. Maybe even a little bit of maple syrup. These weren't super sweet muffins, but my kids did gobble them down. But if you think that that might be a problem for your family, I would go ahead and sweeten them up a little bit. And right before I was about to combine my wet with my dry, I realized I forgot to add my flax seeds and hemp seeds. So I added a quarter cup of both of these. I went ahead and mixed that together. And then I did combine my batter. Now this is definitely a thicker consistency. And as I was mixing it together, I did go ahead and add in half a cup of coconut milk because I really could not get them to combine. I will go ahead and note that in the recipe below. I think it's because last time I made these, I used all coconut yogurt and the consistency was a bit more liquidy, whereas today I did use some of the Greek yogurt, so it thickened it up a bit. Then I did go ahead and add in one full cup of frozen wild blueberries. Once fully combined, you will go ahead and toss these into your baking tray. I just use some silicone liners here, and then I do use some silicone trays you'll see in a bit. And then I did toss these into the oven for 25 or 28 minutes. Now this will depend on the size of the portions that you do scoop out. So I think these ones took 28 minutes and then the Christmas ones that you see me scoop out only took 25 minutes because they are a little bit smaller. So make sure to check out the description box for all of the details for this recipe. Again, I've mentioned this a few times, but these were a huge hit with my family. I've made them two other times before, but I have never used this combination of the Greek yogurt and coconut yogurt and the kids loved them. Now this is certainly more of an indulgent 
indulgent breakfast muffin for my family as it doesn't have any vegetables in it. However, I did just serve this with a green smoothie or a green juice in the morning and it was a perfect combination for a quick, easy, stress-free breakfast. So I would highly recommend that you give that a try. You could serve it alongside one of your green juices or your green smoothies. And if you haven't had a chance to check out any of those videos on my channel, I will go ahead and link those for you in the cards. I have some amazing smoothie recipes that everyone in your family will love and enjoy. I want to thank you all so much for watching today's video and if you liked this video you can let me know by giving it a big thumbs up and then share in the comment section down below what are your favorite items that you like to purchase from whole foods thank you again for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button it's right over here now and i hope to see you back here next week